Hi everyone and welcome to Club One Episode 4 of Rolling in the Isles, an FM20 British Isles journeyman save with me, the United F um, United City FM, I can't remember who I am. There we go, good start to the episode, but welcome anyway. Um, so I've played a couple of games since the last time you and I were together for an episode, so if we go and have a look at the schedule, the last time we were together was the Athlone Town game where we unfortunately lost 1-0 and Athlone were at the bottom of the table, it was a disappointing loss at that point we then played Bray Wanderers who were above us in the table and we lost again 1-0 but then we won the next two very very well we we started to show up against Cabin Tealy and Limerick we won 3-1 and 3-0 um, and the star of the show in those two games was Ian Turner if we go and have a look at our tactics this guy on the right hand side for us Ian Turner he um, came alive and got a couple of decent assists and a goal, I think, as well, but looked absolutely brilliant in those two games. And that really helped to turn around our fortunes at the time that was just slipping away a little bit, wasn't it? Then, unfortunately, we came up against Longford. And if we go into the competitions page and look at the league, you can see that Longford are currently sitting in second place. And so we were going to always struggle a little bit uh, with them, and we did. And they beat us reasonably comfortably in the end. But... I'm achieving what I said I was going to set out to try and achieve, which is, <clears throat> excuse me, to uh, find a way to secure this sixth place spot. And we've basically done that. We have our last game today against Wexford, who currently sit bottom of the table. And we can't gain a place, but we can't drop a place either. We're going to finish in sixth. And I'm more than happy with that. I think that's reasonable considering where we came into the club at halfway through the season. Um, and it gives us some sort of foundation to build from for next season. And that's what I endeavour to do. You can see in terms of the other competitions, we uh, in the Irish Munster Senior Cup, Cobb Ramblers enter the quarterfinals on uh, the 28th of the 2nd, 2020. So that's an uh, a club, uh, a cup competition for next season. Um, in the Irish League Cup, we got knocked out in the second round against Wexford, which would have been disappointing. And we um, took over in the middle of the season and I played the game in the Irish Senior Challenge Cup against Cork City and got knocked out in the first round there in the league above us, a, a local rival to us, and they dominated the game. So it was a bit disappointing, but I think we did reasonably well, all things considered. So yeah, that's the situation in all of our competitions. In terms of team for today we we have a couple of issues in the sense of we had a couple of suspensions a couple of ple people got sent off uh, one got sent off i think it was um o'connor maybe got sent off and the other one was for getting too many yellow cards and fleming our normal right back is also picked up a bit of a knock and is out for a couple of days so we had to reshape the side a little bit from the, the sort of the one that been winning games recently which is unfortunate, but that's part of squad management, isn't it? So today's team for the last game of the season is Mylod in goal, Taylor at right back, Lyons at left back, O'Riordan and Connolly in central defence, midfield of Turner, Buckley, Hurley and O'Leary, and up front we have Murphy and Leonard. And on the bench we have O'Sullivan, O'Connor, O'Rourke, Lamb, Halson, Dolan and Cronin. So let's get into today's game, the last game of this particular season, and see what happens. So quite a grandiose team talk, I think, but I've suggested that they need to go out there and show the world you have got what it takes. I'm not sure how much of the world will be watching the Irish First Division game between Wexford and Cobb, Rain, uh, Cobb Ramblers, but that's what I've suggested to them nonetheless so let's see if they can deliver a couple of play, uh, players have become motivated through that so let's get into the, the game so we're away from home on the last day of the season against bottom of the of the table so it's a bit of a mixed bag isn't it away from home is never good bottom of the table opponent is obviously decent Nolan on the ball for them <laughs> Oh, what is it with us letting in early free kick goals? Didn't we do that in the last episode as well, if I remember rightly? I can't remember exactly, but Nolan with a free kick. And the goalkeeper didn't even move, and it went into the top corner. And again, against the bottom of the league side, we find ourselves 1-0 down very early in the game. And that's going to be a challenge. Turner with a free kick for us. 
far post. Hurley with a really good header from a very difficult angle. And he makes it one all. What a great free kick from Turner. This is what he's been able to do for us in the last few games. His delivery from set pieces is good. His setting up of, uh, setting up of other players is good. And that was a lovely deep free kick. And Hurley on the end of it. Is he going to be judged offside? No, he's not. Brilliant. What a lovely header that is. Really tight angle. Got it in at the um, just inside the post, which is great. And we go one all, and we're back in the game for now. But here comes the opportunity for Wexford on the far post. Similar sort of header, but theirs goes slightly over the top. And we maintain a, a one all draw at this point with 26 minutes to go. Can we uh, find a couple of opportunities before the end of the first half and just see if we can push the game a little bit towards Wexford? Uh, you can see in terms of match stats, we're doing okay. 50-50 possession. We've had uh, a couple of decent opportunities. Goal kick for Wexford goes long into midfield. Um, and they maintain possession, go long again. Um, I thought there might have been an offside there. But Nolan stri strides forward and has a long shot. But it trickles towards Mylod really. And it wasn't a, wasn't a major problem for our goalkeeper in the end. And that will take us through to half time. A fairly even first half. They dominated. They didn't. Dom they had a little bit more possession than we did. But the uh, chances created were fairly even. And we end up one all at half time. So I will go with my assistant manager who thinks we should encourage the team. I'll let him do that. Didn't really get much of a response. Um, everybody's reasonably fit, so we can just go straight into the second half. Hopefully, we can create one or two more opportunities. Since the last time you and I together for an episode, I have upped the attacking um, prowess of our tactic, I want to say, for a better term. Um, I've just made it more attacking, and it seems to have helped us uh, a lot. And I've changed a couple of the player roles here and there. We've got at least one... Um, uh, defender who's now stepping up a bit and challenging the ball earlier than he was before. So things like that that are, are just being gradually shaped uh, to make us a better team, I, I would I would hope, over time anyway. Um, so here we come down our left-hand side with Turner on the ball again. Can he get a decent ball in? He does cross it in, but the um, defender clears it. And that's the highlight done for that particular one. Um, you can see that we are still in the game well in terms of the match statistics but we haven't really carved out that one opportunity as yet and the ball was cheaply given away there by the goalkeeper on the goal kick and Wexford come at us with down the right hand side and there's an early cross and yeah our defense was totally asleep wasn't it really badly asleep and at the near post they managed to nip in and get that second goal and take a 2-1 lead you can see Ash down the right hand side cuts it in and our yeah our central defenders were really badly asleep and Doyle pounces on the opportunity and they take a 2-1 lead with about uh, 25 minutes to go of the game plus a little bit of added time so we'll we'll see how that impacts the game in the last 15 minutes we're going to make a couple of substitutions and see where we're sort of lacking a little bit so Lyons, again, not been impressed by him. He hasn't played recently, but I've had to reshape the side because Fleming went out of it, and so I had to move Taylor across to right back. Um, so we're going to take him out and bring O'Connor on. In midfield, O'Leary hasn't had a great game down the left-hand side, so Halson will come on for him. And then we've got two that aren't playing particularly well up front, are, are they either? And they have done recently. They've both got goals recently. So Murphy will come off and we'll bring Cronin on. And that'll do it for our substitutions for the last bit of the game. Um, and we'll just see if we can carve out that one opportunity that may be able to get us a draw in the last minute or so. Uh, time's ticking down. 89th minute, 90th minute. Are we going to get that chance? It doesn't look like we are. And there goes the final whistle. And again, a really disappointing game. And these episodes are, are not going well in terms of whenever I show up for an episode, we just haven't played well which is unfortunate. I haven't seen them play brilliantly in the games away from the episodes at times either, but one or two recently have been much better. And that just wasn't. That was a bad team performance, and I'm not afraid to tell them so. So assertively, I'm far from pleased with what I saw. Um, and hopefully that will sort of begin to show that we've got standards that we need to upkeep in this particular side moving forward. But there we go, 27 league games done. That is the end of this um, division. 
uh, this season, should I say, for the Irish First Division. For us, there are playoff um, games to come for people looking for promotion, etc. But we're not part of that. Um, and that was where we will end it for this particular season. So I'm going to go away and try and reshape this side for the uh, for the next season. We're in October now, and the next season starts in February, I think. So I've got a couple of months to reshape this side and see if we can try and improve on our sixth place finish and see if we can find a way to become a little bit more consistent with our um, points total and, and winning matches. So that's for another day, though. For this particular occasion, that will do it for this season, uh, uh, an early introductory half season season for Cobb Ramblers for us really so next season we get our full first full season in charge and we'll see if we can do better so join me for that in the next episode um, once I've been through all the transfer windows etc so hope you're enjoying the series if you are subscribe to the channel keep up to date with the videos if you like this particular episode why not click a like on it for me then that will help me get seen by other people if you are playing football manager yourself let me know how you're getting on in the comments below always interested to hear your stories but until the next episode thanks very much for watching take care of yourselves I will see you soon and bye for now